Here we go for game two of this best out of three series that I started last night. Once more taken from the MLG Dallas 2011, a battle between these two European players, both of them that were there at Dallas. It's going to be here spawning on the 6 o'clock position, the Blue Protoss, ATN Soccer, German player, very well known by the community, not only in Europe but also in the North American community. He's one of those frequent flyers that has been playing on all tournaments online and offline uh, for quite a while now. So one of the most solid Protosses representing Europe here on this situation. And he's going to be duking it out against this Red Zerg, Liquid Haypro, representing Team Liquid, as you guys know, living in Korea and trying his luck there on the GSL. A Swedish player, so Sweden versus Germany on this situation. Both of them hanging in in Dallas, trying to get the best results possible and duking it out here on Game 2 in Metalopolis with the Haypro spawning here on this 12 o'clock position. So, cross positions, fairly long rush distance, might benefit some um, longer games, some macro games. We just have Sokka arriving on his opponent's base. And, uh, well, you guys follow Game 1, you've seen the result. For whoever didn't watch it, I'm gonna just throw a couple of spoilers now, so better stop this one and take a peek at Game 1. It was interesting, uh, kinda short, but still interesting to see the reactions and the way people uh, play and the players react to each other. And um, he's gonna have here Game 2 with Sokka leading 1-0, he took the victory on that first game with some very solid airplay, backed up by a massive zealot force in the final uh, rush, the final pressure that April wasn't just able to handle. And um, following the production here, as you can see, April going for spawning pool first and gas, so he's basically leaving this uh, probe from Sokka hanging there. If Sokka was attempting to just hold him back and not allowing him to get his 14 hatch rolling, I guess that uh, April just went went around it and uh, decided to go for the opening with the spawning pool first. It will keep him safe, also will allow him to have at least a couple of zerglings to start annoying this probe, that pesky pesky probe that will be roaming around this base. And uh, meanwhile he's sending his own drone into his opponent's base, still passing on the wall off as you can see, oh ninja drone just stealing a little bit of minerals there and running away with it. But like I was saying, gateway into cybercore here on soccer side, still a little gap there available for the drone to come in and out and take a peek at what his opponent doing. Sokka just finishing his second gas, instantly placing some probes there. And for now everything seems to be fine on this side. While Sokka has to run away with his probe, the first batch of Zerglings finally popped out and is gonna have to run away if he wants to have this probe surviving the aggression that they're gonna try to put on him. And instantly Haypro going for the hatchery on his natural expo. So, extending his play to two base plays soon enough. Um, for now still everything quite stable, not much of an aggression, this probe is trying to run for its life, while inside Sokka's base he's just trying to get some proximity detection here, a lot of pylons making a perimeter around his main base, probably to uh, make sure he's going to be able to spot any overlord showing up, ca any kind of surprise drop or even mutilist harass, who knows. Uh, for now he just was able to save his probe, enter the base, those Zerglings will have to stay out, and now he's getting map control, as you can see, grabbing the Zelnaga Watchtowers, sending a second batch of Zerglings to mass up in front of his opponent's natural expo, probably uh, making sure that he's going to be able to spot when Sok is going to decide to move. And there it is, Sokka trying to establish the pylon, and the Zerglings instantly trying to get a surround there. Sokka doesn't have enough units to defend and had to cancel it for now. So apparently this is going to be what I can see, three gateways, yeah. This is going to be a build that has been commonly used by Protoss, as you guys know, the three, um, three gateway into expand. Seems like that's the plan from Sokka. He's just trying to get a couple more units out so he can shove away those Zerglings and establish his base. And meanwhile here on Haypro's side, everything rolling, everything fine, playing out of two bases, needs to start taking care of his drone count so he can boost away his economy. Meanwhile this um, Zerglings are just trying to be as pesky as possible but no chance they're going to be able to climb up there. And incoming all the forces once again from Sokka trying to slice and dice as many of those Zerglings as possible and bringing down a lot of um, sentries backed up by two zealots. So I think he's going to finally make room to establish his expo here. The probe is getting ready for it. There it is going down. And with this pylon he will allow him to just extend his build around here. I'm not sure exactly what he intends of building here but there's a tendency to make a wall off, a long wall off, to force your opponent to go all the way around by land if he decides to harass and enter your main base. 
Meanwhile inside this base, let's take a look. Three gateways still with the cyber core, not much going on. I saw that he was taking care of hallucination, so I'm assuming that soon enough we're going to have some hallucinated phoenixes. There's the first one. Meanwhile here on April's side, a spine crawler, so assuming a defensive position for now, April, getting some roaches out, I'm assuming, and inside Sokka's base, interesting enough as you can see he's going from those three gateways into the expand into a stargate so we're gonna have more air playing coming while sock establishes more gateways outside trying to pressure his opponent trying to make him force him to go all the way around if he wants to spot anything inside his main base and at the same time noticing that hey pro is going greed mode is what like seven minutes not even eight minutes yet and he's already trying to play out of three bases. Risky plan here. Might pay off. Both players are committed to plenty of macro. So um, uh, I'm assuming that there won't be much aggression from uh, uh, Sokka anytime soon. And based on that, I guess that Heypro is thinking exactly the same. He's going to risk playing out of three bases really soon, really fast. And though he doesn't have much of a defense, as you might imagine, as you can see there, 14 Zerglings, two Queens. Um, he might have enough as long as Sok doesn't go up all the way up north and starts bashing him. He's getting some roaches out to reinforce his army, so he's been playing out of three bases soon enough. This will reveal a boost on his income and hopefully will allow Heypro to keep ahead on this game. Harvester count, as you can see, only three, so he's still fairly close. And then we have 1300, so a little bit ahead there on the economy. More pylons getting established all around uh, Sokka's base, making sure that he's going to be able to spot any kind of harassing coming from the north. I think he's just afraid that um, his opponent, April, might try any kind of mutilisk harass incoming from that side, or even some drops later on, who knows. For now, he's just taking care of some upgrades. There's not much of a b um, an army on um, an army on April's side. Let's take a look at the army. 88 against 76 is still ahead though keep in mind that the worker count is included on that number and uh, taking a look at the bases from Heypro he's getting now his hatchery um, this might be spelling trouble because um, we have void rays popping out backed up by uh, phoenixes and he's just finishing up his uh, hatchery he doesn't have any spore crawlers around and I think he would need some um, some proper defenses against this airplay or he's gonna be in trouble really really soon void ray getting scout by those two phoenixes are gonna advance into that third base of uh, liquid hay pro I don't think he even has a queen here here yeah he doesn't so this is gonna be uh, the demise from hay pro I'm, I'm guessing because this um, uh, void ray will be able to finish off anything moving on this on, on this base we have the queen getting lifted by those phoenixes and now focusing fire on the spore crawlers they just started getting built so I don't think they're gonna last longer as long as this void ray focuses its fire there and the queen trying to come from the second base from the natural expo dragging itself on the on this area without creep second queen trying to back it up trying to defend out of this aggression but this is paying off a lot for Sokka. Sokka with this bunch of air units, this small squadron just profiting a lot. As you can see, there it is, he's hunting some overlords, trying to supply block his opponent, I'm assuming, and all of them just moving slowly towards his opponent's natural expo. And ooh, jackpot! So many overlords here for him to profit. He's gonna start shooting all of this down so quickly, and there's basically no defenses here. Hey, Pro just didn't have this one placed on the right spot, I would say. A lot of queens incoming now. Notice as well that he's getting all the upgrades for his roaches, tunneling, cl tunneling claws and burrow, but I mean, at the moment they're basically useless, and it's just Sokka profiting a lot. He's gonna get him supply locked soon enough, as you can see. It's getting really, really close. 99 over 102 on the supply for Heypro, and if he can catch at least a couple more overlords, he'll be able to supply lock Heypro, and that's just really Really annoying this void ray surviving with four kills did a very solid harass there and at the same time Sokka was grabbing his nexus on the third base so he makes sure that he's gonna be able to even out the economy game against his opponent against April incoming a small batch of Zerglings once again straight into this third base taking a peek around see if they can destroy what's attempting to be built here by Sokka. Sokka pulling his uh, forces into this third base and chewing away those Zerglings while inside Heypro's base we have the Spire coming out placed on the third base kind of interesting I mean it's one of the least well defended but still he's gonna establish this Spire there maybe hoping that his opponent wasn't able to spot it but well too late there it is as you can see 
and now Sokka might be considering which way is he actually heading. There's spore crawlers here trying to defend against any kind of harass. Inside of um, the natural exo from April, we have a macro hatchery going down, so he's gonna commit himself to start building a lot of the units that he has already available. Keep in mind that he's already an, in lair tech, so anything might be viable. I mean, mutalisks, hydralisks are so effective against uh, Protoss units, as you guys know. He might even go for corruptors to counter all of those air units that keep harassing him. I guess we're gonna have to wait a couple bit more minutes and we're gonna be able to notice that. Meanwhile here, on Sokka's side, as you can see, he's getting blink for his stalkers. Already has here the robotics bay and the robotics facility, meaning that we might be seeing some colossi coming out soon enough. For now, he's just keeping it stable, only using that uh, robotics facility to get some observers out. And on April's side, he's gonna risk all out two bases at the same time. He's gonna try to get the rich mineral field, which might be useful, and at the same time, he's gonna take a look at the main base of his opponent, incoming overlord, already with speed, as you guys can see, flying up, didn't check that much, most of the new production facilities are here hidden on this corner as you guys can see, and meanwhile we have Sokka flying around the rich mineral field and probably gonna fly around as well to this left side and spot that his opponent also has the base there on that left corner, no he didn't spot it, so for now this base is still safe, Sokka is not aware of it, incoming more overlord hunting and supply lock, this is so pesky, so annoying, this is gonna frustrate um, April a lot, army wise as you can see now we have Sokka leading the way just by a little bit on the unit count you can see that both players are massing some big armies and here April forced to cancel his rich mineral um, expo just a lot of forces here from Sokka bashing it down and it wasn't possible for him to just allow that hatchery to continue he will lose the minerals and the hatchery for now more harassing coming with Phoenix play into this base that Sokka still didn't find about and um, for now he's just trying to contain Hapro, force him to play out of three bases and not allow him to expand anymore and at the same time we have Hapro just going for a lot of uh, little units there can you guys check that right side of the minimap? I think he's just borrowing a lot, yeah there it is, borrowing a lot of little zerglings and just stopping uh, um, Sokka from expanding as well until Sokka brings some units there and tries to kill the zerglings so he can land some stuff there oh there's another hallucination getting killed and I think that April is preparing a drop overlords loaded with banelings, banelings with speed as well with the centrifugal hooks and he's attempting to advance into his opponent's uh, rich mineral field as you can see Sokka is just establishing it there as well while Sokka flies all the way to the left we have a movement on the right side the massive forces from April advancing into this rich mineral field I don't think that um, Sokka will be able to stand the aggression. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take the HP bars out. It's gonna be a lot of units clumped on top of each other. Incoming massive assault here. Oh, side storms and bailing drops, exploding everything that moves and so many overlords that are gonna get killed here. This is gonna be painful. Massive assault here, massive aggression. Now with April pulling back with all of his forces after that big assault that tried to destroy as much of those ground forces from uh, Sokka as possible, but it didn't actually pay it off. Those banelings exploding on the, um, on the stalkers didn't made as much damage as I think that April was expecting, and there's still plenty of stalkers here. As you can see, they already have two upgrades on the attack, and meanwhile, April was attempting to establish his hatchery once more on the rich mineral field, and will be forced to cancel. He needs to cancel this before he loses the minerals, I would say, and apparently Sokka is just taking the upper hand, Cancelled on the last second, nice uh, there by Hapro was quick enough and now he needs to try defending what's left of his bases because as you guys can see there's not much left here and he's just advancing, Sok advancing to this base on the far left side of Metalopolis to try to finish off the economy from Hapro. There's a Hapro sending his uh, uh, corruptors to try to intercept any of the flying units that might be show up here. There it is, those phoenixes, and a massive ground battle ensuing close to this uh, ramp with a lot of bailing smashing against those uh, stalkers, blasting several of them, but there's still plenty of forces left and Sokka blinking away from this ramp, avoiding the forces from uh, Hapro. Now, taking a look at the bases, because I already see the Greater Spire getting ready, 
Also here we have the infestation pit, so hence you could see the infestors rolling around there and the hive tech is already ready and set to go, so meaning that he might be going for some broodlords. While here on uh, Sokka side, as you can see we're gonna have a dark shrine and a lot of DT play will be ensuing, I'm assuming. Nice defense here, massive wall made by Sokka, still that side of the that right side of the map is interdict, is not allowed for Sokka to build there until, until he sends an observer and some units to kill all of those burrowed zerglings that are just staying there basically to contain the progress on the economy and the expansion from Sokka and uh, meanwhile we have here on this side as you can see plenty of zerglings just burrowed all over the place and uh, Sokka will have to consider where to expand next. For now his economy is just booming, he's playing out of that nexus for a very very long time still harassing with this uh, small group of phoenixes they're gonna meet up with the corruptors now and they will have to run away but um, as you can see the, on the economy still fairly close though we have uh, the, um, the edge for uh, Sokka Sokka just taking the lead there and finishing off all of that aggression that RRS with the phoenixes and instantly getting all of his uh, corruptors morphed into broodlord so we're gonna have massive broodlord assault here while Sokka still attempts to establish his bases there I'm assuming Taking a look at the bases once more, let's see what's up here, we have the DTs getting ready, also here on this rich mineral field everything just rolling, plenty of High Templars there backed up by DTs, while on um, April's side he's just massing up his forces here, we're gonna have Sokka advancing once more with his stalkers, three on the attack as you can see now, this is gonna be massive damage, nice fungal growth right on top and now the banelings need to advance while all of those uh, stalkers are just static there, stuck there on the fungal growth exploding, smashing against those stalkers, but it wasn't enough and some size storms just backing up the stalker damage, the DPS, to contain the movement from the forces of Haypro. Nice moves here by Sock, excellent play, forcing Haypro to pull back once more, incoming the Broodlord force. Let's take a look at the army, 170 against 164, it's still close. On the units, as you can see, 8 Broodlords, 42 Zerglings, plenty, 21 Bla Banelings, and it's massive Stalker, 36 Stalkers now, impressive army here, so the Blink Stalkers leading the charge, backed up by some High Templars and Immortals, while I hear, there it is, Nidus Swarm, but on this area it's still fairly clean, nothing here to assault, at least not directly, there's the Nidus Network, and charge getting ready for the Zealot, so after making a massive Stalker army, apparently he's gonna back it up with some Zealots, probably to work as cannon fodder on the front of the army and just get destroyed while charging and once again we have April attempting to establish his game on that rich mineral field gonna have to take this HP bars, it's just a monstrosity oh so much damage done there once again drops ensuing brutal drops with banelings exploding in the middle of all of those units and the broodlord showing up to try to finish off the army from Sokka massive damage being done here some archons getting popped the archons can shoot the broodlords but no Sokka forced to pull back all of his forces got destroyed there's only a small clump left I excellent aggression here by um, by Haypro, he was just able to apply the pressure and uh, destroy the forces from Sokka, pulling him back and probably guaranteeing the fact that this time he might be able to establish his hatchery here, though we have DT play advancing, 3 DTs there on the right side and 3 more on the right, this is gonna be massive damage, while Sokka applies the Nexus, establishes the Nexus there as well, and I'm gonna have to follow this on the picture in picture screen, one assault here on the left side and the other other assault is being made on the main base as you guys can see and uh, now we have Sokka just splitting all of his DTs around these bases destroying that base there this one got shot because the spore crawler was able to detect it and at the same time we have two more DTs here on the main base if he's able to destroy the hive tech this might be um, painful for Haypro uh, DTs just spreading all over the bases from Haypro and Haypro does have detection but doesn't have much of an army this is quite hard to follow even with picture in picture screens as you guys might imagine I'm just trying to show as much of this DT play as possible this night has, uh, didn't pay it off at least for now it didn't work that much we finally have that DT getting pushed away by the workers the workers are just rebelling and say enough of killing us we're gonna kill you DT 
Queen detecting it there. Meanwhile, inside the main base, we have some forces getting pulled back. And apparently, I would say that April will start hurting on his economy because he's not allowed to expand. He took a very long time to actually grab this rich mineral field, as you guys seen. There's still no workers whatsoever here. So we have that massive difference on the income, though the harvester count is fairly similar. Um, Sok is just leading the way here, what can I say? He has the bigger army now, let's take a look, let's see if I'm correct. Yes, he's almost max, maxed out, he's actually warping in a lot of units into this base, which was, I think, the fifth from, um, from April, sending some DTs there while the bulk of his forces advances into this rich mineral field, denying the production here, denying the mining to uh, April and forcing him to be contained and not profit from the income. As you guys might imagine, by now, after such a long game, what basically happened was that um, all the bases from April are getting mined out, exhausted, and he's just not being able to provide what it takes to keep replenishing his army properly. So we have a massive assault here, why a big clump of zealots gets warped in by that warp prism and starts destroying this base once more. All of those all of those broodlords advancing, trying to kill as many of those uh, zealots before they finish off this uh, uh, hatchery, and they finished off anyway, so nice snipe there done by um, uh, Sokka, and now uh, once again sniping that rich mineral field and Ooh, Haypro is just in such a heap of troubles here. He doesn't have enough economy. All of his units are just getting slowly destroyed and his bases are getting wiped out. And he won't be able to replenish this army fast enough. Nice side storms there trying to shoo away those broodlings coming out of the broodlords. And once again, here we, ha here we have Haypro attempting to get stabilized his bases. At least these two that still have mi minerals, as you can see. Also, he still wasn't able to profit from that rich mineral field while we have Sokka warping in more and more from that war prism has been a key part, a key unit here. He's just spreading a lot of those zealots, slicing and dicing everything that moves on the two bases that April was actually benefiting from. And at the same time, we're going to have all the broodlords advancing here towards the rich mineral field that Sokka was able to explore basically all the game. And GG's out of the match. Oh, hey, Pro couldn't stand the pressure. He didn't have enough economy, as you guys can see, and now he didn't have much of an air defense to counter this war. This, um, I'm sorry, this void race. So basically, he could foresee all of his broodlords getting killed, and he didn't have much of an army anyway. Harvester count a massive difference, and Sokka was just able to out macro on this very long game and defeat hey, Pro, taking the victory on the series. 2-0 and dominating this very solid, very epic match, a long one as well. Boy, I feel tired of talking all of this. <laughs> and game done with the series going for Sokka, winning 2-0. Congratulations to him. Hey, pro, better luck next time, man. It was a very cl close game for a while, but on this end game, this late game, you basically got destroyed here. Huge pressure applied by Sokka, very well microed and macroed, and he just got this end result of taking the final victory out of Liquid Hey Pro's hands. I hope you guys enjoyed this matchup, okay? I'm gonna follow another series, gonna choose another one. See you all later, have fun.